Queen Fury. Queen furious over Meghan and Harry's commercializing of the crown new details have emerged regarding the explosive exit of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry from the royal family, including how the couple made the queen furious with their plans to use royal to expand their brand. A new book on the feud between Prince Harry and Prince William, aptly named Battle of Brothers, had made a series of explosive new claims about the royal family, with a particular focus on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's exit from the firm. Earlier this year the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down after a short stint as frontline royals together, following a tumultuous foray into royal life for Meghan Markle. The new book by Robert Lacey, which is set to be serialized in the Daily Mail, makes a myriad of claims about the Sussex's life under royal rule. It claims the Queen was delighted with Meghan as an addition to the royal family, and that the monarch thought the former actress was a perfect fit for her grandson Harry. The book also says the fallout between the two brothers began long before Meghan arrived in the royal camp. The couple attempted to retain the use of royal in their trademarks despite wanting to not be classed as royals, and maintained their Sussex royal moniker for a short while after stepping down. She was reportedly deeply unhappy with what the book calls the commercializing of the crown after the pair tried to retain their Sussex royal title for their independent brand. The Queen also apparently felt that the couple acted erratic and impulsive with their decision to abandon the royal ship. A powerful constituency within the family felt Meghan's infamous interview with ITV's Tom Brabby during last year's tour of Africa, in which she largely complained about her newfound life, showed a bizarre tone deafness and was miserably self-indulgent the couple attempted to retain the use of royal in their trademarks despite wanting to not be classed as royals. The Queen famously barred them from referring to themselves as royals and banned them from trademarking Sussex Royal, forcing the couple to backtrack. The Queen eventually barred them from referring to themselves as royals in their public and charitable endeavours after meeting with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to discuss their future. The last post on the Sussex Royal Instagram account reads, Thank you to this community, for the support, the inspiration, and shared commitment to the good in the world. Instead. The couple came up with their Archiwill initiative, the launch of which has been delayed thanks to COVID-19. The couple were criticized for the timing of their announcement of Archiwell, which was made at the height of the coronavirus pandemic in the UK and when Prime Minister Boris Johnson was in hospital. Since then, the couple has not hinted at or announced a date for when they will properly launch Archiwell. The couple are currently living in Santa Barbara, near Los Angeles, with their son Archie. The pair have been getting to grips with independent life since their departure, with Meghan in particular looking set for a life in politics following a series of recent high-end interventions in the upcoming US election. Last month, a source close to Meghan claimed the royal would seriously consider running for president if she and Prince Harry ever gave up their titles. It came after the Duke and Duchess recorded a video message for Times 100 urging Americans to vote, just weeks before the 3rd of November election. Buckingham Palace sought to distance itself from the intervention, saying the couple were no longer frontline royals.